Hi guys, it's Vicky, welcome back. It's time for another Shop My Stash. It's been three weeks since my previous one. So the way I like to do these is I will recap the products that I have been working on, show you guys some of the makeup looks that I've created using those products and then choose some new makeup items to be working on. And I use these items in conjunction with the products that are in my project pan and I try to kind of get this kind of like happy medium between making sure I'm using my project pan items enough to get really good progress every month but also using my shop my stash items enough to make sure that I'm rotating fairly throughout my makeup collection as well. Okay I'm going to go through the products then. I do keep the products in a separate makeup bag like this just so I know that they are separate from the rest of my collection and I do the same with my project pan items as well, my project pan items. Okay so I've got my phone here with pictures on as well so I can refer back to it. So if we start off with base products then, I did include a foundation and I included my Bare Minerals original loose powder foundation. I really love this product, I think it looks so natural but it also provides a really great amount of coverage as well. And I included this because I rarely use a powder foundation. I have this and I have my Laura Geller pressed baked foundation. Those are the only powder foundations I have. But I don't often wear them, I'm more of a liquid person. So yeah, I included this because I wanted to use this one a bit more. But to be totally honest with you guys, I probably only use it two or three times. I didn't use it that often at all. And also because I'm so close to using up the foundation that's in my project pan, that's where my focus is at the moment, not on another foundation. So I didn't really use it that often, but I really love how it looks. Like I say, it looks natural. It looks like your skin, but just improved. And you can really build up the coverage as well. So you can just go for a light layering, or you can go for a couple of layers and really build up the amount of coverage you, you want. But yeah, I didn't use that as often as I hoped I would. That sometimes is the problem. When you have products in your project pan that are so close to being used up, everything else kind of gets pushed to one side. So my bad, but that does happen. I did also use my e.l.f. concealer. I, I don't like this. This is the 16 hour camo concealer. And this is just really dry. So you have to work really quickly with it because otherwise it's super stubborn and it just doesn't want to blend in. I feel like you can see it as well, it kind of sort of clings to like, not so much pores, do you have pores under your eyes, but any sort of like, any bit of texture under your eyes, it clings to it. You can see this concealer, it doesn't blend in very well. I'm not loving this concealer and you might want to keep your eyes peeled for a declutter video coming very very soon. You might see some of these products in it. Another base product is this sleek rose gold blusher which is a dupe for NARS orgasm I'm really like toing and froing with this blusher which is why I included it in this shop my stash because there are times when it looks really pretty but then times where it, it just looks awful so it has like a gold reflex in it so you can kind of get away with not wearing highlighter with this blusher but it's also quite a dark coral and I think it's possibly too dark for me but also with this you do have to put on quite a bit to get your pigmentation and then when you do that you then end up with lots of that gold reflex on your face so the look is very it's very iffy like i say sometimes it looks nice and sometimes it doesn't and this also doesn't look very nice on the eyes as well so trying to multitask with this product doesn't really work also not a product i'm loving either okay eyes so products i am loving are these makeup geek foiled eyeshadows i've been so into color this past month and i chose this palette because it complemented the revolution we are love palette that's in my current one month one palette so if i wanted bright but shimmer i would complement it with this palette here so these are all individual singles from makeup geek and they're all the foiled ones and they're just brilliant they are perfect for that kind of one look one shadow and done type of look but you can also wear them together as well so i've got a couple of purples here got a couple of sort of orangey colors and i included this as well because i really wanted to get the my use out of these two shades here so this one kind of looks like a dark brown it's not it is like a purple mesmerized is the name of that one it is like a, a taupey purple which isn't really my type of purple but it actually looks really pretty 
so I like wearing that one with this purple here weirdly enough I also included it because I was really unsure as well about this dark green up here which is called Houdini but it's actually more of like a navy colour and it's what I have on my eyes at the moment not loving that one the rest I do really love like I say they're brilliant for that one shadow and done type of look so they're really easy to work with layered over the top of NYX glitter primer as well they just pop so much more beautiful beautiful colours really did enjoy using that custom palette and I did also include a couple of Kiko singles but to be honest I haven't worn them yet it's the green and the purple here so I think I'm going to keep this in, in my shop my stash because I still have about I think two one or two weeks left of my one month one palette so if I can wear these two shades in conjunction with that palette that would be good as well all right liners then I chose three liners I had just a standard kvd black liquid liner if I wanted to go for something with a bit more emphasis with the bright eyeshadows didn't really do that that often and that's just because my eyeliner skills aren't great I don't really wear eyeliner a lot it takes up too much space on my lid I've said that multiple times before if you're a regular viewer I just didn't really wear it that often and then I also included these two from Peaches and Cream which are a beautiful turquoise shade and then a like gorgeous orangey copper beautiful eyeliners again I didn't wear these that often as well but I know that I like these so I didn't include it to to try and figure out whether I wanted to declutter them or not it's just that they got a little bit of use and they did not a whole lot of use but I don't wear eyeliners that much anyway so they're never going to be something that I wear every single day okay and lip products then I included two lip liners I've got this collection pink lip liner which is a vibrant pink retractable lip liner which I intended to wear with Vive lip dew over the top which I did once or twice very very lovely colour but I did sometimes find that going for a bright eye and a bright lip was too much so I think I probably wore these bright lipsticks maybe about twice each in total so not as often as I was expecting to and also the lipstick that's in my project pan that's very close to being used up so again that was where my my priority was in terms of lip products but really really nice lip liner from collection quite creamy doesn't pull at your lips and I love the fact that it's retractable as well beautiful color but just a little bit sort of too intense I think and then there was also Mac brick which is just a standard red lip liner that I wore with Mac work 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 which is one of their powder kiss lipsticks lovely blue based red lipstick I nearly said blue based blue lipstick then blue based red lipstick very soft on your lips wears quite well as well and when it does start to fade it doesn't look really dodgy it, it, the pigmentation just kind of evenly fades and then for more of like an orangey red i had persuasive by estee lauder much more my kind of red this shade is as it's an orange base red it's a lot warmer so it suits warmer complexions better and although i'm not a red lipstick fan this is the type of red lipstick that i feel comfortable and confident wearing so it loved that one and then last lip product was my max factor lip affinity a corally kind of color perfect for the summer months i don't think this is going to get much much wear much use over the next probably sort of six months so i do like to dig this one out in summer because it's just with a bit more of a tan with a bright eye this one looks really really lovely right so as soon as i have gone pretty colorful pretty bold in my current slash previous <laughs> shop my stash selections i think i want to go for something a bit more muted a bit more paired back also bearing in mind that i do still have one to two weeks left of my we are love palette by revolution so i am still going to get those bold eyeshadow looks in so i have an idea in mind what i want to go for so i'm not going to actually take you through all of my products i'm just going to show you what i have decided on i think so starting off with foundation it's something a little bit more full coverage this is probably like a medium coverage this is the elf flawless finish foundation i'm in the shade natural i really enjoy this foundation i think it's so lovely this is a little bit of a love it or hate it one here on youtube but i really enjoy it 
and I just haven't used it in a while. So that's why I'm going to include this one. And then for concealer, I'm going to go for the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. Really, really lovely concealer this one is. But also this is, yeah, five mils. So this is my smallest concealer. So I'm hoping to kind of, if I keep dipping back into this one, this one will get used up. Well, I was going to say fairly quickly, but it's a concealer, isn't it? It takes a long time to use up a concealer. But quicker than my larger concealers will, that's for sure. But really, really lovely concealer this one is. I don't want to use it up to get it out and done in my collection, but all of my concealers are open. So I need to keep rotating through them and making sure they all get used and they don't go off, basically. Bronzer, I'm going to go for my Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Butter Biscuit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bronzer. Love this. I have the powder as well, but the cream is just... Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It blends in so nicely. There's no kind of like harsh lines that you can get sometimes with bronzer. This just, yeah, it blends in seamlessly. Colour is brilliant on me. Love it. Haven't used it in a good month, probably. So I'm going to include that one. Whoops. <laughs> and then for blusher... I'm going to go for Milani Luminoso. Now, I do have a blush in my project pan, but what I have been doing, actually, is layering it. So I've done primer, foundation, concealer. I've put on my cream blusher, and then once I've powdered, because the powder takes away some of the pigmentation, I do like to go in with a bit of a powder blusher over the top. So Milani Luminoso pairs quite nicely with VB, which is my Trini project pan blusher. And... Luminoso is just a really, really pretty blusher as well. So going to go for that one. And then highlighter is going to be Becca Champagne Pop, a mini one. Really lovely highlighter. I wasn't that fussed about this when I first got it, but it's really growing on me. I think it's so pretty, so easy to work with. And a little bit of a spoiler, there is now a liquid highlighter in my project pan. So I'm going to do a similar thing with the, like I said, with the blusher. I'll put my liquid highlighter on, powder, and then just go over the top with this powder highlighter. Eyes, like I say, keeping it simple. So I'm going to go for this Revolution Quad, or actually Trio in my case, because I got rid of one of the pans, Diamonds and Pearls. So you have a lovely dusky pink shade, a dark brown, and then a foiled yellow gold glitter. Really lovely colours those ones are. And then if I want to go for something a little bit brighter, like I said in my intro, I haven't used these Kiko ones this time around. So I'm going to include the green and the blue Kiko single eyeshadows. Those will work really nicely with my one month one palette. Eyeliners. Right, I've got to make sure I use these eyeliners. This is Teddy by MAC. Just a really pretty, if I try to show you brown with a bit of like gold shimmery but really lovely brown eyeliner and then I've got my nude here as well which is papyrus from peaches and cream just great for the waterline brows now I do have a brow product in my project pan but it's it's quite thick it does give like a full brow effect and I am enjoying a lighter brow so I do want to include Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 3. This is open so I don't want this to kind of dry up whilst I'm working on my Project Pan one so I'm going to include this one and just try to kind of alternate between like a lighter brow one day and a thicker brow the next day because I do want to get the Goof Proof used up that's the Project Pan brow product but yep yeah, Gimme Brow I'm going to include and then lastly lips I'm going to include Euro Trash by NYX, which is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's quite a matte, peachy, pink shade. Really, really lovely. One of my favourite lipsticks. And then I'm going to pair it with Subculture from MAC. And this liner works lovely with any type of pinky lipstick I've got. It looks there like it doesn't. <laughs> but trust me, when I've worn them together... It, it works, it's fine, it does work. And then the lip liner to go with the lipstick that's in my project pan is going to be Stripped Down by MAC, which is just a nudie brown 
type of collar. All right, so those are my selections for the next Shop My Stash. So I will, again, take lots of pictures and give you guys an update in three weeks' time. But thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you again soon in my next one. Bye, guys.